today we are here with my good friend Theo. Hey! We're going to try the Brasserie Paul Bocuse, which is situated in Hotel du Louvre, which is a really beautiful hotel in the center of Paris. And the Brasserie Bocuse is inspired by the work of Paul Bocuse, which is like the legend of French cooking. Famous chef from Lyon, where I come from, and we are just very excited to try the food. And this place, look where we are. It's a hidden gem in Paris, and it's really amazing. And so we're looking forward to trying the food. Yes. Let's go. Bonjour. 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 Je vous en prie. Oui, merci. Oui. A mix of modern and traditional. So you can feel like casual, you can feel at home. It's not too uh, snob as we say in French. When something is a bit uh, yeah. too chic and it's you, really, don't really good. Home, you don't feel really familiar to it. We have the menu here and it's super interesting because I notice a lot of things that I had with my grandparents or in Lyon. There's Lyonnais dishes. And we can see that the Lyonnais dishes is, we can see the foie de veau. So what do we call that? We call that like the baby cow, Connelle de Broche. It's kind of like a lasagna style type thing. And it's really interesting because these are the foods that we find in Bouchon Lyonnais. Bouchon Lyonnais are like Lyonnais traditional bistro restaurants. Here with you. It's really okay. It's vlogging as well. We're doing it at the same time. We're doing double vlogging. Uh, okay, so we decided to go for starters, snails, because I really like it and I haven't had it in a long time and to take you along with us as well as asparagus because it's a veggie that we both really like and we're gonna go for the veal Lyonnais style because they make it quite differently and for agneau is Lamb. The lamb uh, that is slow cooked with uh, beans and lemon. So that sounds really, really good. Uh, I love slow cooking in France and can't wait to show you guys the dish. Hey, uh, le volo. Exactly. Okay. Du coup, oui, volo bon poids de veau. Euh, Asperge blanche et ça partager ou il y a des On va tout partager. Ouais, on va tout partager. Ouais. Asperge. Avec petits œufs de poisson volant, les petits œufs de poisson. Is it because there's even focaccia bread, one of my favorites. In French, out of the oven right now. I really love how it's still bubbling. Super cool. Don't even know if it's cold or hot. I will try. Fish. The vloggers. <laughs> I really like it. I love the sauce. That's like vinegar, little bit of mayo, right? Um, not too heavy, not too light, and perfect for the season, right? We like to eat seasonal. We love to eat seasonal dishes. Uh, Let's try the snails. We have a little cute fork because French cutlery is important. Always. <laughs> um, and yeah, there's with the parsley, right? Butter sauce that we really like. Like that, yeah. Perfect. It, it tastes a lot better than it looks. It's disgusting. But you will see that it's better than it looks. I love it. Like the sauce is really perfect. The parsley with the butter. I need to eat the little toast, but it was amazing. I love snail. It's a beautiful view. You can see here. here. It's the Comédie Française de Super. We have the lobster, le homard, the lobster, and it looks like a work of art. Like there's the mousse, there's the puff pastry on the outside, there's this orange sauce, and honestly, it really looks like a piece of art. So excited to try it. These epinards at the interior of the patriotite de Volovan. It already looks delicious, like flaky, crispy. You have some spinach and lobster inside. Super good. The lobster is really, really well cooked, and I feel like the cream and the spinach is not too overwhelming. It really fits super 
cooked together. And it was my first time trying this dish. I've never had this dish before. I love seafood, so definitely come try it if you come to Brasserie de Louvre. Or what are we taking for desserts? We're gonna take two French classics, the crème brûlée with vanilla, it's so good, and the crêpe Suzette, it's glazed crepes and then it's flame, I don't know, flame? Fire. Fire, it's fired <laughs> just near your table, just next to your table. They, they put some ah ouais, ils vont le faire ici. Yes, <gasps> they put some alcohol, they fire it, and it's beautiful. Desserts, what other desserts do they have? They have fruit salad, creme brulee, chocolate mousse. Oh, this is what I'm gonna make, video coming up. <laughs> uh, baba rum, meal food, oh, and the crepes, super good. This is the crepe Suzette. It's crepe cooked in a pan with caramel, butter, orange. Uh, what's the name of the skin? Orange skin. Yeah. Orange skin. And then you put some Grand Marnier. It's an orange liqueur, and you flame it. And it's eva it evaporates. And this is just so good. Right. So this is the creme brulee, and apparently something that French people do when they're angry is they hit it. Not <laughs> Emily in Paris. Ooh, ASMR. This is what we call une la creme brulee. Like creme brulee is one of my favorite French desserts. So let's try it now. Still one of my favorite French desserts. Super creamy, melts in your mouth. Just a bit of caramel, not too sweet. I really, really love la creme brulee. Usually it's in a plate that is really small, it's really thin, and you don't have much to eat. This one is really good. So what did you think of the meal, the food in general? The meal was delicious, everything was good. Like yeah. from the asparagus to the dessert, there is no... There, is, there isn't a dish that was less... less good than the other. Yes. And I feel everything like they good. all like compensated, can we say? They all match like yeah. quite well. There was like a good... But I do feel like I ate a lot and I do feel like I would come back for a special occasion. So, yeah. merci Hotel du Louvre for inviting us. Mm -hmm. And uh, see you next time, see you tomorrow. À demain. <laughs>